All right, you guys, welcome to a new Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies episode by creator Forrest Gump. This one's called 410 Dills Morts. And actually, it's French. It translates to Fort of the Dead. So that's pretty cool. I uh, read on the map page that this one has some soul boxes and uh, it's got like a small Easter egg and a Bible ending. Uh, no perk limit. And a craftable shield, and it's got some custom weapons imported from other games like Modern Warfare and stuff, so. And it's bunker themed. 750. Scorpion. Damn. These freaking noises, dude. I swear, like, that's what zombie maps need, like, in general. They need, like, good audio tracks, and they need, like, some creepy noises. Audio is, like, what makes a map, like, a big part of... Uh, big part of zombies. <clears throat> I did see a skull in there. We should probably be trying to fill that. Um, yeah, right here. This is probably a soul box, I guess, but I kind of want to get a gun first. How much is the door? A thousand, so we'd have six hundred. Well, that soul didn't go in, so maybe it's not a soul box. <clears throat> well, we're going to buy this scorpion. It's eleven hundred. He didn't update the price of it. Oh, double points. Beautiful. That's freaking lucky, right at the end of the round. Really cool starting area as well. <clears throat> Should probably buy some quick revive. Oh yeah, that soul did go in. They just have to be a little closer. I'm just going to get the points. I'm not going to worry about waiting for him right now. Well, hopefully we get some lights turned on in here once we get power on. Okay, we got a thousand each way. There's a shield part. Cool. Oh my goodness, this place is like a maze, dude. A Jack-12. I've never heard of a Jack-12, dude. I don't think I got the points from Quick Revive. Should probably go get those. 750. Sure, why not? Ooh, HK. Nice. How much was it? 2700. Alright, well I can't get past that nuke. Come on, zombie, hurry up. Get the points from the zombie and then I can get the nuke. I think we should buy that Jack-12, because I've never heard of it. Well, that's the round change sound. It's freaking cool, man. Sixteen hundred for this thing. I thought it'd be some kind of shotgun. Looks like a double A12. Probably what it is. That was a neat little effect he's got for the soul box there. It like kind of shoots out a little bit of white fireworks. Flashlight turned off. <clears throat> A 
Just got to double tap the reload button to turn it back on. Alright, these zombies are being slow. Oh, hello, big room. Oh, it's a stoner, dude. I totally want that stoner. I should not be in here right now. This is not a good place to be when the round is starting. Is there a skull? Oh yeah, there's a skull over there in that area. Alright, getting a little claustrophobic in here. Perk. Stamina up. Alright. 2200 for the stoner. Alright, now we're broke. <clears throat> and stamina up really doesn't help that much. I was hoping power would be in here. FN Scar PDW. A kilo. Shield part, there's the box. Another skull here. <laughs> I bet you they jump up here. Yeah. I don't really like this too much, man, that I can't see. I think we're alright, though. <clears throat> it takes them a while to uh, get up here. We, and we, we do have quick revive if uh, worse comes to worse and we go down. points. Let's go up here by Meal Kick and work on this soul box, I guess. <clears throat> Since we can kind of see out here a little better. The reload's not too bad on this thing, I just gotta pick my reloads well. Perk. Oh, a speed cola. Never mind what I said about the reloading. Let's see if we can make a crawler. We got some money now. I turned my flashlight off again. There we go. Can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Well, let's go back down the quick revive and just kind of open doors and make our way. So there's, okay, there is no doors here. Let's go to the right, I guess. Probably where power isn't. Yeah, that's double tap. Oh, we got more areas anyway. 750. Oh, sweet. There's our last shield part. Now we just gotta find the table. What is this, dude? Bro, what is that? That's freaking cool. This door doesn't open. Maybe it will later. Okay, there's the skull in here. Alright, well let's go through here. Hopefully power. Looks like a power room. Oh, shield table. Okay, cool. Got some uh, back protection. Oh, yeah, there's the power switch. Hey, we got lights. Awesome. That definitely helped. Can turn our flashlight off now. Yeah, maybe just leave it on. Grab some double tap. That'll help. All right, let's continue. That's about all we can do for now. <clears throat> So while we're filling soul boxes here, guys, I guess I'll uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, Cold War. <laughs> uh, I have gotten another request to play Cold War on the channel, but like I said, I have to buy the game in order to play it on PC. But anyways, I've been playing it on Xbox, and uh, I've been enjoying Season 2 of Cold War. And uh, last night I actually just tried the Outbreak mode for the first time. It actually is pretty neat. Open world zombies and it gives you objectives to do, which is kind of cool. But uh, we ended up dying like on the third area where there's like a crystal. And the crystal teleports you to like a room that you have to defend in. And uh, just overwhelmed us. Alright, we gotta find. There's another skull. We don't have Jug yet. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I've been just, uh, I took advantage of the uh, double XP weekend that they had with the start of season two. And I freaking, I had no life that double XP weekend, dude. As, as you guys know, they reset everyone's levels back to level 1. I was Prestige Master. I ended up being level 500 Prestige Master. Um, which I would have been even higher, but I was working on a friend's profile as well to help get him diamonds on his weapons. But uh, anyways, yeah, I was level 500 Prestige Master and they reset everyone uh, back down to level 1, of course. <clears throat> and uh, so I've been, I grinded uh, the heck out of the double XP weekend, and I got myself up to level 140, which is freaking nuts. And uh, then uh, after the double XP weekend, I've been just kind of 
Oh, the zombies are getting stuck here. Uh, I've been just kind of uh, playing every now and then, and I'm now level 170 something. So I'm pretty close to Prestige Master. Prestige Master is level 200. So I've got like another 25 levels to go yet. And uh, I was looking forward to... I'm trying to find another skull here. But uh, I was looking forward to getting to Prestige Master and uh, unlocking... Uh, unlocking... Oh, here's another skull. Unlocking the uh, icon from COD 4. You can... Uh, Put your, uh, you can set your emblem to uh, whatever emblem from the previous CODs, Prestige 10 or whatever. And uh, I wanted to do the gold cross from COD 4 because that's my favorite. Uh, we gotta find another skull. And I think on the map page I did read that uh, for the Easter egg we have to find like a secret button. So we'll keep our eye out for that too. Let's maybe go back up to where that hand was and see. Oh, there was a soul in here, wasn't there? Or did we finish that? Yeah, I think we finished that one. We literally just finished that one. Wow, my memory is terrible. There's nothing over that way. Oh, is this Pack-a-Punch? I know, Pack-a-Punch is in there. I can hear it. Oh, I think it said give the summoning key to that hand. But we have to find a, a secret button first. If I were a secret button, where would I be? Let's just kind of comb the walls here. And if I can't find it, I'll pause the recording and I'll just come back when I find it, but we'll just kind of take a quick look around here. Pardon me, zombie. I didn't look around very well in this room. Hmm, doesn't seem to be anything. Maybe upstairs. This looks interesting. Nope. Alright, well, I guess it's uh, time to pause the recording. I'll be right back when I find this button. Wow, okay you guys, I found the button literally a second after I paused the recording. I literally just walked over here. Push the button. Oh, it's a secret brick. Ooh, it opened a tunnel down there. Alright, let's make a crawler. I've had enough of this guy. Alright. It's freaking cool, man. Little secret tunnel. Ooh, we got Wonder Fizz. I'm gonna wait on that, because I think I want to pack a punch. Pick up the summoning key. Sweet. And stand on top of this dead guy.
Cool, cool. Some zombies crawling over him. Alright, this guy's gonna respawn if we don't speed him up. Speed up. There we go. Alright. We gotta go give the summoning key to that hand. Cool. Pack the stoner. And there's a skull in here too. So let's uh, fill this. Not yet, bro. <laughs> fill this skull in here and uh, off we go. So the weather here in Wisconsin is getting a little bit better. Better, better. Uh, we're finally out of the out of the deep freeze. It's uh, definitely much better here now. We're kind of in the 40s, so makes things a lot uh, a lot more a lot more uh, easier on things. A lot more easier on things. That's. Just proper English, yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to being outside more, man, and getting some fresh air. And oh, we just got another perk. We got Mule Kick. Sweet. Feels like I've been inside for so long, you know. Must be missing a skull or something yet because I think that's the Bible ending that we're supposed to be able to buy. for another skull here. I wonder if there's one down here. Electric cherry. Oh yeah, there's one right there. So we'll probably buy all the perks and pack a punch or a double A twelve and escape if you can. There's a couple of zombies getting stuck on this uh, little pile here in this area. This uh, pile of rubble here. A couple of some pathing issues maybe. It could be tweaked, but... 
Other than that, that's about it. We can go see how much the uh, Bible ending is. Forty K, all right. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god. I just freaking died because I was trying to pull out the freaking death machine, dude. Oh, this is not good. Dude, not good. Oh my god. Wow, we were right at the freaking end, too. Right at the freaking end, dude. That was freaking horseshit. <laughs> freaking horseshit, dude. Alright, well, it's been uh, Custom Zombies 4 to the Dead by Forrest Gump. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for the map, Forrest Gump. But uh, I'm not going to try and do all that again, trying to go b back for the Bible ending. But, alright, we're out. <laughs>